Solar San Antonio has been a great partner in in uh, in, in bringing this solar solar electricity producer program to the market. Uh, first, let me say we've got a lot of exciting things going on in solar here in San Antonio. Uh, we've got a very attractive solar rebate that Bruce Evans uh, can tell talk more about for residential uh, homeowners, small businesses that want to put solar panels up on their roofs. Um, it's three dollars a watt, covers about a third of the cost of that solar system. Um, and then the solar electricity producer program, which is really what we wanted to talk about today, is really kind of the middle market. Those commercial buildings. You know, how do we transform our buildings into power plants? That you know, Aurora Geis uh, uh, and the Rifkin vision that that, that uh, uh, you know was talked about last year. We got a lot of rooftop space. How do we leverage that rooftop space uh, to create uh, power here, right in San Antonio, right inside of our distribution system? Um, so that's what Solar Electricity Producer Program is all about. Financing is going to be key to all of this, and that's why it was great to see the list of, of, of banks and investment firms that are here today to learn a little bit more about it. Um, I would say that this is a good investment from a, from a standpoint of, of, of debt these days with all the other stuff that's going on in the market. Uh, this is also a great way to get started in this, you know, just like like we're getting started in this distributed generation model. This program is well scoped out. It's got very uh, specific terms to it. It's uh, five megawatts for the first year uh, in totality. Um, uh, we're gonna be doing a 20 year PPA against it. And, you know, Paul will talk a little bit more about it, but it, it, it's got some very specific terms and it's CPS Energy with its AA you know, credit rating that's gonna be behind that uh, purchase of, of power from, from these panels. So uh, uh, we encourage you guys to uh, participate. One of the objectives of this program is to get a lot more local activity going, whether it's you know uh, green jobs or it's uh, getting local banks involved. Uh, so it's really important for uh, for uh, for us to answer any questions that y'all might have. So with that, let me let me turn it over to Paul Barham, who's going to talk about some of the specifics of the program. Existing programs um, for solar, we have the rebates, which have been mentioned. Um, which is an upfront payment. Uh, we currently is uh, set at a rate of three dollars per watt. Um, that is a net metered installation, meaning that uh, if you install one of these systems and get the rebate, it is offsetting your usage of your building or your home. Okay, so that power is is owned by you, the homeowner, or you, the business owner. That's what we mean by net metered. Uh, it's installed behind your meter. So solar electricity producer is really focused on uh, the gap between those programs, uh, what I would call uh, larger commercial installations, uh, and it's really focused on uh, building mounted, uh, where this program really isn't interested in uh, an installation out in the field, which is uh, the cheapest way to do it, like Blue Wing, 14 megawatts, stick it out in the field, you know, where you can... Uh, uh, maybe buy an expensive land, the installation is cheap, you don't have to worry about roofs, uh, interconnections probably simpler and things like that, uh, but that's not really what the solar electricity producer program is about. It's really about getting larger installations into the metro area, uh, really about building uh, our expertise and our experience in making these systems work in our distribution system. <coughs> Um, when we're talking, you know, a three or five kW uh, system that might be installed on a, on a home, uh, really, you know, it's it's kind of noise in our system, and those aren't aren't that difficult. When we talk about, you know, 100, 200, up to 500 kW installations, those bring a lot of new problems and a lot of things that we have to work through. So this is really about us working through these issues as well as installers working through these issues uh, to really try and start building building this path uh, to an increased installation of, uh, of solar uh, in our in our local area. Um, some of the program specifics uh, that are mentioned but it's a two-year pilot program so we're uh, going to go two years and we're about to kick off the first year now. Uh, there'll likely be changes between year one and two uh, as we learn from this. Uh, like I said, this is really a learning uh, program for us as well as for everybody involved, I think. Uh, and we'll likely make changes to address issues that come up. Uh, but essentially, if you boil this down, it's a 20-year 
power purchase agreement contract with the entities who we uh, uh, who come into this program. First year, uh, we're offering a 27 cents per kWh fixed price uh, for those contracts, and that's flat fixed for 20 years. Uh, there's no escalations in that. Um, and for that 27 cents that we're paying, we take ownership of the energy that's produced. We also take on ownership of environmental attributes such as uh, in Texas, it's the renewable energy credits uh, associated with the state. Uh, if there are future carbon offsets or things like that that could be associated with these programs, uh, CPS would also take ownership of those attributes as well. Some of the limitations, um, five megawatts of total capacity per year uh, under this pilot program. Uh, systems, as I mentioned, have to be building mounted. We do allow up to 10% of an installation to be ground mounted. So if a, a business wanted kind of a display out in front of their business, this would allow them to do that. But the majority has to be building mounted. Now that does include um, uh, solar mounted as part of a parking facility. So if, uh, if you have covered parking for your parking lot, you want to uh, install solar panels as part of that covered parking that would uh, would be included in, in this program. Uh, systems have a minimum size of 25 kW up to a maximum of 500 kW. And any owner in the first year is limited to 500 kW in capacity. Um, you can't utilize the rebate program and the solar electricity program. They're, they're two separate things. Uh, they're actually, the interconnects are completely different because in the, I mentioned the net metered, the owner of the system is taking possession of the energy in this installation, CPS takes possession of the energy. So we're on two separate sides of the meter on these installations. Um, uh, it's just a process overview, I'm not gonna go through that. It's, it's on the website. Uh, if y'all have questions, I can answer those. But, um, there's two documents in the contract. Uh, like I say, those will be posted on the website. One is interconnect agreement, which really covers all the technical requirements of interconnecting with our system. Second document is the solar produ solar electricity producer power purchase agreement, uh, which is really the financial and uh, uh, contract terms. Uh, the, so we're finalizing those, they're gonna be posted uh, on the website, uh, should be there tomorrow. And uh, those are documents that we do not intend to negotiate special terms for each project. Uh, we hope that we have documents that work for projects across the board. Uh, some of the contractual requirements, um, 20 year, contract begins at the point where we execute the contract, which would be the point at which we tell you, yeah, your project is good to go, you pay for the interconnection costs, and we release you for construction. So that, and we would both sign on contract, that's when the 20 year starts. You have to pay for the interconnection costs up front at that execution point. Um, there's a requirement to reach commercial operation within nine months of the contract execution. Uh, project, has to, uh, project production is limited to the original design, so uh, you would not be able to upgrade the project down the line to get more power out of it, uh, would not be allowed under the contract. Um, you have to maintain the facility. Uh, we only make payment for power that's actually produced. And a monthly uh, payment will be processed based on the meter data. Uh, uh, we will help coordinate with uh, the ERCOT and PUC registrations. There's some changes that are in the works there, so it's hard to say what that will require. I don't see big issues there, but the CPS will help coordinate that. Contract termination. Uh, the seller can contract and terminate the contract at any point in time. Uh, CPS only if, uh, if we find violation of contract terms.